The city of Riverley has called on law enforcement agencies to remove all illegal miners in their area. At least 194 miners have been arrested since the start of the operations on Monday. Let's uh, go to our reporter now, Linda Misi, for the latest. Linda, what's the situation currently there? Well, Delta, we're not in Rivoli, but we're in Storm Hill, just not far from Rodeport. And here uh, you have an operation by the JMPD led by the MMC for Public Safety, Mkini Chaku. And what they've been able to find here in Delta, when they arrive, of course, uh, a, a shootout, we're told, ensued between illegal miners and JMPD officers. As you can see behind me, we're told that they all ran towards the direction of that abandoned mine. You see the JMPD there, um, as well as some law enforcement office officials there processing the scene because there's been a number of uh, illegal mining equipment that have been discovered, rifles, as well as a person who uh, is believed to be an illegal miner who has since died during that shootout. I'm joined now by the public, MM, public safety MMC uh, who will give us a sense of what this entire operation was about. MMC, thank you so much for your time. Yes, My understanding was yeah. that you'd be in Rivoli in yeah. the morning, yeah. right? Yeah. Going about your business, checking how things are. Yeah and whether the community is safe, yeah. but you ended up here. How and what happened? Well, it's, a, it's an operation. I must not tell my intent what I intend to do. So many people, they thought that I'm just going to be overseeing the place. Nothing's going to be hidden. Nothing's going to be done. But we knew what we were the intent to do. Because remember, we've got uh, Zamazamas who are showing their guns on, 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 on Facebook and everywhere undermining the rule of law. So we wanted to really show them, give them a surprise. And, and because some of them, when we came to some of the areas, they started to, uh, to shoot it at us. And then we promised them that we were going to uh, make them to meet their maker. They are cowards and they ran inside. But the other one was like, uh, uh, when they inside and then we chased some of them and then we shot, and was shot. And then uh, unfortunately, actually, probably, you know, if he, he, he actually passed on. This operation, this one actually, it looks like it's a main area. It's like a main factory, a main. And I'm, I'm so surprised that why, uh, you know, with this operation, we've never, you know, seen this one because it's the first one I'm seeing this one here. So we, we managed to discover guns, about, like, about four or five guns, high caliber guns. Uh, some, uh, we managed to find the, um, the explosives as well, uh, mining equipment and all of that. So it's a new world here, very, very new world. Mm -hmm. So we're going to confiscate everything so that we're starting to disrupt them, the operations, yeah. yeah. From what I heard earlier, you said when they ran into yeah. this, the shaft, yeah. some of them exited yeah. through the back, yeah. and you were telling us that other officers had to go that yeah. side. What mm -hmm. did you find there? Now, what happens is that um, we knew that um, if we're chasing these ones, this Bastards are going to go in and we don't know there are tunnels. So we said we must split. So we're going to chase them on the other side. We started shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting them. We chased in this other area. And then we took the other officers. When they came out on the other side, we were ready. So we chased them as well. We managed to shoot one of them. But we shot them in the leg and then he just ran away. So this tunnel, it goes everywhere. So when they come out here, they come out somewhere. So that's why we need to have, um, I even spoke to the man CM, that we need a, a tactical gear, night vision, um, we need like torches, very bright torches, because it's pointless for us just to fight this thing on top. We're actually going to go inside them toe to toe now. So these are tunnels, they're just quite very really nice open, and the new world, they're cooking, there's cooking material, everything there as well. So um, this is actually in response of the outcry of the public, especially the people of the city of Johannesburg. They asked us a question. We understand that it's a national competency. What is the city of Joburg doing? We are doing what they're supposed to be doing here. Whether controversial, controversial, they must know that once they shoot at us, we're going to shoot them and make them to meet their maker. And we're not actually scared. You, you speak about you know, how the city of Johannesburg is doing something. Yes. Are you now in collaboration with the SAPS, or this is a separate op operation entirely? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Um, I want you yourself, when you go back and process this, can you really, we really want to ask the Minister of Police, we want to ask the General 
Fani Mosomola, General Mawela, and Faith uh, uh, Mazibuk. What do they have against JMPD? Because when we did this operation here, they were very angry. Actually, they wanted to arrest me, by the way. He said that they were supposed to do an operation, they got a joint operation like that, whatever they are actually doing. This is what the province and national they do every single time. They come and parachute themselves and come into our city here. They don't tell us anything. We saw some two fools there, they call themselves a, 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 a TRT. We're doing our own operation. And we nearly had, a, you know, did this collusion. They said they're having an the operation. We asked them, did you come at least and inform the leadership of the police the, the acting chief of police here. She does not know. JMPD does not know. K9 does not. We don't know anything about them. They are doing their own things here. We've got our own operations. And I invite them again. The door is still open. We know what is going on. We need their manpower as well. If, if you know, we need their own in intelligence unit. But anyway, we don't have it. But we've got now, like some informers around, they were telling us what is actually. That's why we're having successful operations of this nature. But what they do, they come with choppers, they come with drones. They, this, they just run away. And Tina, when you go back to our cities, we've got people there in those areas that are telling us, but uh, these people are here. They, they are collecting now. The public is collecting. Uh, uh, it is alleged that the other law enforcement are collecting. Uh, uh, one of those will be people. So we've got our informers calling. So what they do, uh, uh, to be honest with you, is that self they don't want to cooperate with us, none whatsoever, and I don't know what we did with actually them. We want to actually have a joint operation, mm -hmm. but they don't. They, they, come, they came here, they call it national in intervention, whatever, national intervention task unit here. Yeah. Come, post it there, they want to uh, uh, arrest us. I said that we will arrest them. <laughs> All right, so let yeah. me just get in the, the acting chief of police to just give us a sense of what it's looking like inside. You've been there. Uh, we know that you're currently processing the scene with other law enforcement officers. What are you going to do going forward? The MMC is talking about how you're planning now to move inside to get to understand what's happening down there. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, from our side as a city, we are actually calling the SAPS so that we have a strong collaboration to deal with this um, monster of illegal mining in our city. So I am from inside. It's its, it's, its own world. Um, people are cooking there. There are shops inside there. Um, it's, it's, it's beds. It's, it's everything. It's happening around uh, underneath there. So currently we have the specialists that are dealing with bombs. Um, they, and, and investigating officers, they are um, uh, obviously they need to do what they need to do in terms of uh, the crime scene uh, management. So um, we are currently outside. However, we need to impound everything that is inside. It's a whole lot of equipment that we need to impound, and we will do that by even it takes us the whole night. We'll definitely make sure that we remove everything that is inside. And just one word, I know we're out of time, but just a word from you, Councillor, in this area. Is it, a, is it a big problem, this illegal mining issue? I know we're not far from Matole, which also is a problem. Absolutely. The illegal mining issue runs across this belt along Main Reef Road, and it's a massive problem. It's leading to great damage to infrastructure, uh, city infrastructure and roads as well. Um, and it's besides that, the danger that it causes to people, people get attacked um, and we see loss of life on an ongoing basis. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to release you now. Uh, that is what is happening in Vantla here on the ground. What we've been able, of course, to, uh, you know, observe and see is the operation currently in full swing. It looks like it's still an active scene, so uh, authorities are still processing and trying to get everything um, out of there. It looks like it's going to be a mission because, as you can see, there are already trucks that are, are stationed there ready to take out everything that we've been told about. And that Thanks there to our reporter, Linda Mnisi, who, of course, is in an area near Rodiport this afternoon where the MMC for Public Safety in the city of Johannesburg, Mkwini Chwaku, uh, he joins other officials as they clamp down on illegal mining activity in that particular area. An update that we got is that uh, one illegal miner was uh, shot, uh, shot dead rather, uh, during a shootout with police 